hang out is one of the best things to do, something that we all look forward to on the weekend. It's just to spend time relaxing, maybe with your friends, or even you can hang out alone. What's the difference between play versus hang out? Hang out and playing are two kind of different things here. Both of them can be really fun and something you do with your friends. Playing is more like we're doing an actual activity. Maybe we're going to play a board game, maybe we're going to play video games, maybe we're going to play basketball. We're like doing an activity that almost takes some work. Hanging out can just be sitting on a couch, relaxing next to someone, drinking coffee, drinking soju, getting a beer, kind of just like relaxing, we're sitting there, we're just enjoying each other's company. It was more hanging out. Then can you explain hang around? Because I hear hang around every once in a while. Hang around can kind of mean yet another thing. Hang around is like you're waiting around somewhere. So maybe I took a test at school and they're going to tell the results of the test much later. So I'm just going to hang around the school. I'm just going to spend some time there waiting for that thing to happen. One more thing that I really want to add, which is chill. These days, young people, they use chill quite a lot. Chill is another very similar expression to hang out. It's even closer to relax. So we can chill with our friends. We can chill out alone. It just means to relax. So chill and hang out can overlap. They can have very similar meanings. Hang out is like the most frequent expression for spending time with your friends. Every single day, I'm like, hey, you guys want to hang out this weekend? Oh, I hung out with Jennifer last weekend. You're constantly saying it in conversation. It's so casual. Chill is a little bit more slang. So I'd say it's a little bit less than hang out. Hang out is like overall, most people use that. Good. Any final word? If you guys are ever around Seoul and you see me, maybe we can hang out. We can grab a beer sometime. Are you serious? Maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> look, look. English. 여러분들. 오늘 표현, hang out이라는 표현입니다. Hang out. 사실 저는 요즘 워낙 바쁘기 때문에 어, hang out 하고 싶은데 hang out 할 시간이 별로 없어갖고 좀 안타깝긴 한데 여러분들에게 이렇게 좋은 영상을 제공할 수 있다라는 거에 대해서 기쁨을 느끼면서 제가 hang out을 설명해 드리도록 하겠습니다. Hang out이라는 건 쉽게 말하면요, 우리 그냥 놀자라는 거예요, 그렇죠? 우리가 친구들하고 야 오늘 좀 놀래? 너 시간 있냐? 영화나 볼까? 아니면 우리 뭐 서점에 가서 이제 서점에서 책이나 볼까? 아니면 우리 그 한강 공원에 가서 우리 좀 이제 좀 놀까? 할때 편안하게 행아웃 사용하시면 됩니다. 행아웃. 연어 행아웃. 되게 popular, common한 expression이에요. 행아웃. 근데 여기서 기억해야 될게 우리가 놀자라고 하면요. 사실 뭐가 떠올라요? 플레이가 떠오르죠. 근데 플레이라는 것은 사실 뒤에 구체적인 어떤 내용이 나오게 됩니다. 예를 들어서 자, 플레이 사커라고 하잖아요. 그렇죠? 플레이 바스켓볼. 플레이 위로 게임. 이런 식으로 구체적인 어떤 것을 하는 거 있죠. 그런 것을 생각하시면 되겠습니다. 그리고 플레이라는 것은 약간 느낀 자체가 뭐냐면 어린애들이 또 많이 사용하는 거 있잖아요. 그때 또 플레이가 생각이 나고요. 성인이 그냥 서로 뭐 만나서 대화하고 뭐술 마시고 뭐 커피숍 가서 이야기하는 거다 뭐라고 하실 수요 행아웃이라고 하시면 되겠습니다. 그리고 하나만 더 추가를 하자면요. 행 어라운드라는 표현이 있는데 행 어라운드라는 것은 어라운드라는 것은 어때요? 이 주변을 말하는 거죠. 그래서 hang around라고 하면 거기서 주변을 맴도는 느낌을 생각하시면 되겠습니다. 그리고 제가 마지막으로 슬랭 표현으로서 chill이라는 표현도 알고 갔으면 좋겠는데요. chill이라는 것도 hang out과 거의 비슷한 표현이라고 생각하시면 되겠어요. 그런데 슬랭이기 때문에 hang out만큼 많이 나오진 않지만 요즘 젊은 친구들 chill, chilling, chill out 라는 표현 많이 사용하거든요. 이것도 알고 넘어가시면 나중에 영화나 미드나 이런 거볼때 도움이 되실 거라고 생각을 합니다. What are you doing this weekend? I can get together. Cool, let's hang out. What are you doing this weekend? I can get together. Cool, let's hang out. What are you doing this weekend? I can get together. Cool, let's hang out. What are you doing this weekend? I can get together. Cool, let's hang out. What are you doing this weekend? I can get together. Cool, let's hang out. We hang out with friends who have similar interests. We hang out with friends who have similar interests. We hang out with friends who have similar interests. We hang out with friends who have similar interests. We hang out with friends who have similar interests. 자, 오늘 표현 hang out. 자, 한번 정리 받고요. 우리 그럼 다음 시간에 여러분들 hang out 하고 돌아오세요. 다시 hang out 한 다음에 다시 돌아와셔야 돼요. 알겠죠? See you guys next time. Bye bye.